Hi there, Chris here. Uh, this is for Murloc68. He, uh, just on his channel this morning, uh, picked this uh, Trio Ving, no, Ving card, <clears throat> hotel lock. Let me get the right key here. So I'm in the trap. I'm in the trap uh, pin right now, and this is the escape key. And it puts it back into lock. So I'm I've taken some of the pins out of here to go quick, quick, picking quickly, but I will take it apart and show <clears throat> uh, what's going on. So we go pick, 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 pick. And even with, I don't know, I got three, four pins in it, I don't know. So I'm in a false set, I gotta find somebody else, probably somebody in the back. Okay, so now, I'm in the check pin. I'm in the check pin. I'm checked out. So in the pick, as we pick this, of course, uh, we can't get the key to work if you don't have the right key. But all you have to do to get it out of check mode, or bounced check mode, is just pick the first pin. Because that, that activates this little check pin. That'll push on the check pin and you can, actually we want to turn it back. I think this is what we want to do. We want to turn it back to locked. So, pick, pick, pick. Let's do picking. There we go. That's all you have to do. And there's only one active check pin. So let's take it apart. And this is this is a job for professionals, you see. So what you need to do is use your professional tools. Bink. Bink. And as you can see, this is a 7-pin lock. And this one has wafers and blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I've taken... I only have... Actually, I only have three pins in it. It looks like I only have two, but... This, this is only a six pin skull. So we got that done. Boom, boom, don't lose those guys. Uh, what do I wanna do? Oh, I wanna use a key. And when I wanna gut this, I'm gonna turn it to the left. And then I'm gonna find my chim, and I'm gonna chim it out. It's a short chim, but that's okay. See if I can get it all the way in there. Get that thing all the way in there. And we'll chim this out and pull it out. So there, you see, I went, you know, I speeded it up so we only have three pins. And uh, mine has two wafers on number three, and three is gonna be the nose. Um, <clears throat> and the, the other two are just stock pins with a bevel on them, or key pins with a bevel. So that's no big deal there. I mean, it's, it's a very difficult lock to pick. So <clears throat> what we're going to do here is what I wanted to show. Let me get my shim out. Is that we go in here, find some tweezers. Boom, boom, boom. We take out one, which is a standard. And these are strong springs. And this is what's happened. If you see, that's the check pin. Right there. And you can see it's popped up. Can we see that? We can all see that. And it has a little uh, pin, pin sleeve cover. And actually, Murloc, if you need another one, I think the Medico, I have some Medico ones that'll fit. That'd be nice, nice fit in there. And I can send those to you because I, I am sending you, uh, what am I sending you? A bunch of locks. So, and then you come in here and you have number two. You have your very cool 
trio ving um, trampoline pins, they call them. And then there's number three. Three's in the nose. So, but as you can see down here, and I'll see if we can show you, the only active uh, check pin is numero uno, right there. And so when you pick this thing and you get into that deep checked false set, all you have to do is pick pin one and you're out of it. Or use, don't mess that up, or use this one, this key, which if you notice on here, this is 185S1, and these all say 174S1. So this is your magic key. So that's how these guys work. Anyway, Murloc, um, let me know if you, if you want one of these. I can send it along. It's a, it's a medical one, but I think they're the same size. Um, and that's how these work for you, Murloc, and other people who might be messing with these. Now, if you try, if you want to learn how to pick these and you are uh, just pinning them up with a couple, pro whatever your active pin is, and it's probably usually going to be the first one, uh, either pin that one, make sure you use that one of those key pins. Where'd it go? There it goes. Just got stuck for a second. Um, but even if you don't, even if you have no pin in that chamber, when you're, you know, select pinning it, you can take this, like this hook, and go all the way up through there, hit it as you're turning, and you can restore the lock. All right, I think that's everything. Uh, brilliant picking, Murloc, because you picked a seven-pin trio thing, and you just didn't understand, you didn't know that, that all you had to do is hit the, the first pin to get it out of that, that check mode. Anyway, um, very cool, Murloc. Hats off to you. I have not picked this seven pins. Just, <laughs> just let me pick it with, what, three pins. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that clarifies some things for um, <clears throat> some of you viewers who are lucky enough to get one of these. Uh, it is the Ving card, and they're called Ving card hotel locks. And the, the whole idea is that you can put it into into that check pin, and people can can't access your room. Only you can access your room because you uh, would have this key, this um, one that lifts the first pin high enough to get past the check. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment. We will see you next time.